when you summarize your video time study, the summary is presented to you in a specific sequence. And that sequence is actually determined by the sequence you have over here in your activities area here. So you can see buff sides, buff bottom, a side and get next. This is a sequence that, that determines how the data is presented here when you're doing your basic time study summary. So you can see I've got time study selected here and it's using it here. So if I move one of these, so let's say I move buff bottom up. So it's now buff bottom, buff sides, get a side and get next. And I do the summary. Buff bottom, buff sides, a side and get next. Right? So you can control the sequence in which data is presented to you in your summary. Now I've got a side and get next, buff bottom, buff sides. And you'll see that. You control the sequence in which the data is presented here by the sequence in which the information is presented in the activity list down here. So if you want to change the sequence in which it's here, that change is made by changing the sequence of the elements down in the bottom here.